Here now to respond, Stephen Miller, former senior advisor and director of speech writing to President Trump. Stephen, thank you for being here tonight. So first, CPAC is always something that conservatives look forward to. Lots of big things happen there every single year. Just your reaction to the first day. Thank you for having me on. Well, I think what you heard today at CPAC was a very optimistic, forward-looking vision for the Republican Party. And I think what you're going to see on Sunday when the president speaks is he's going to outline that same optimistic vision like only he can and give a concrete, detailed plan for how the Republican Party is going to win the midterms in two years and take back the White House in four years. There's been a lot of talk of President Trump's speech. It's the first big speech he's going to give after he has left office. You, you brought up 2022. What is his message? What, is, what does he think that Republicans should be doing on the campaign trail to stop this barrage from the left now that they have full control in Washington? Well, he's going to outline a blue-collar, working-class, conservative populism that stands up to China, stands up to big tech, stands up to the donor class, and stands for working people. And one of the big contrasts he's going to draw, of course, is on the immigration fiasco that is happening before our very eyes right now. When Donald Trump left office, we had the most secure border in American history. It was safe. It was under control. Drugs were being kept out, illegal immigration was being kept down, and the whole hemisphere benefited as a result. In just four weeks, Joe Biden has created a humanitarian catastrophe. And the main victims of this catastrophe are illegal immigrant youth who are being smuggled to our country in record numbers because of Joe Biden's policies. He did that. That is because of his policy changes, and I think it's morally reprehensible. So on the issue, we'll get to the illegal immigration bit in just a second, because you're an expert on that. You've been covering it for many, many years, and we've watched this crisis come and go, and President Trump implemented a number of policies to make it stop, and now it's back. But in terms of what the president thinks we need to focus on and conservatives need to focus on moving forward, we heard a lot about a civil war inside of the Republican Party on the right. But when I look at what happened at CPAC today, that's not what I see. I see a bunch of happy warriors coming together with a number of principles that they share. They're trying to pin uh, the Democrats as the party of elitists, the party of intolerance, and it seems to be working in a lot of ways. I've got news for you. The civil war in the Republican Party is over. It was waged four years ago when Donald Trump won the nomination. Those battles are done. Those fights are behind us. The new working class Republican Party is here to stay. It's not going anywhere. And this idea that we're going to bring back Chamber of Commerce Republicanism is preposterous. That's over with. The policies of endless wars, the policies of outsourcing, the policies of uncontrolled migration, the policies of catering to the donor class, that is the past. Donald Trump and his policies of a working class party, that's the future, and that is here for the long haul. Well, you've brought up the crisis of illegal immigration that we are now seeing happening at the southern border. We're just a month into Joe Biden's new administration, and we're already seeing that DHS is in panic mode. They are predicting that they will have 13,000 unaccompanied minors come over the border in May. That's just a short number of, of months from now. You have the White House press secretary now trying to backtrack this idea that they're not using shelters, which they once called concentration camps. Uh, and now we're also seeing, which is the news of the day, that the Biden administration is now going to use taxpayer money to fly unaccompanied minors at the border to family members or adults who are living in the United States already. And as Stephen, you know, many of them are already here illegally. What? It, it's just, this is mind boggling. What the Biden administration is doing is they are effectively facilitating illegal child smuggling. Mm. They are facilitating illegal human trafficking. You have violent cartels that are taking young people illegally across multiple countries and dropping them off at our border for the purpose of delivering them into the interior of the United States, and the U.S. government is completing the last leg in the smuggling operation. This is heinous. Under our administration, when we left office, we had a policy in place to humanely reunite illegal immigrant youth with their families back in their home countries, mm -hmm. in Guatemala, in El Salvador, in Honduras. 
Instead, what the Biden administration is doing is keeping these youth from ever going back to their home country and relocating them in the United States. The message to the whole world is anyone under the age of 18 can come here illegally and stay. That is wholly unsustainable, it is reckless, and it is morally depraved. So, Stephen, you know, we, we always talk about fairness and when it comes to illegal immigration and what Americans are paying for and the burden to the taxpayer. And now we're learning that these shelters, which, again, the left was calling concentration camps when the Trump administration opened them as overflow facilities in 2019, we're hearing now that unaccompanied minors are being taught. They are in schooling. They're being given an education. And yet we have schools all over the country that are still closed because Joe Biden is capitulating to the teachers unions and giving into their extortion. Uh, your comments on that? No, it, it just the it, it, it's it's the shameless hypocrisy of the left. The idea that it's unsafe for American students to go to school, but we're going to open schools on the border for illegal alien youth from all of planet Earth. And here's the thing. We all believe in the humane treatment of people who cross the border unlawfully, especially young people. But let's be very clear. A policy of releasing all illegal immigrant youth into the country on a functionally permanent basis is an incentive for child smuggling, it is a reward for child smuggling, and its sole result will be an endemic level of global child smuggling. And that is why I say it is fundamentally immoral, it is wrong, it is getting young people badly hurt, and it's enriching criminal cartels that prey upon innocent people across the Western Hemisphere. And, it, and this whole administration's policy, whether it's on energy, whether it's on the economy, whether it's on migration, Joe Biden's paying back his big wealthy donors instead of standing up for working people. And what you're going to see on Sunday is Donald Trump stake his claim to being the champion of everyday hardworking citizens, especially those who have the least. Well, Stephen Miller, we appreciate you being here to preview uh, former President Trump's CPAC speech and, of course, to talk about this crisis that we are now seeing unfold at the border, which surely isn't going to go away anytime soon. Thank you so much. Thank you.